All right, what's up everybody? We just got a hold of two boxes. I want to open them up for you guys and see if we can crack anything. I know in the case already that I got it already there was an action point that was found and apparently a signed card as well. So I think it was a two or th th I think the signed cards are three stars. So potentially we already lost out on getting the signed card or the AP. So we will see what we can get here. We'll try to pile everything up. So we have the green stuff here, the yellow here, and the purple here on the side. Uh, we're just going to jump right through and see what we pull in terms of the actual rares. Okay, so we got a Rukia here, which is pretty nice SR. And Jugram here for the rare. We go to the next one. I think you get about six SRs, two alt arts, and uh, the rest is. I think you get two action points also per box, which means the action points are valuable. So these action points take over the rare spots. And this is actually going to be a really nice action point. So as you can see, they take over the rare spots. And I think you only get two or three per box. Now you're getting three colors in this box, which is really nice. And uh, th the same cards in the starter deck are here, but they're foiled and they're also different alts, arts. So they're gonna be alternate arts. You'll be able to distinguish between starter deck cards like the Tasty Bread here. Totally different than the starter deck Tasty Bread. You got a Bunkai in green as well. Nice. So the decks are pretty balanced. We got a Jugram here. Pretty nice. Keep going really quickly. We got two boxes to open. Still got a ton of stuff to look through. I think Bleach is going to be our game uh, decks. Nice rares. Shinji. You can the jail is such a strong card here. Just resting one of your guys. The guy. Uh, it's really strong uh, defensively and offensively. Very very nice to see. Should be catching a good card here. Ooh. Got a s alternate art as not. Not bad, not bad. That's our alternate art. So that's a little bit higher value, apparently. It's a different card than the other super rares. Basically, it's like the super rare, but it exists in an alternate art. It's got one extra star, a rarity. You should get two of those, I think, per box. And we got a Kenpachi. Kenpachi super strong. Has impact immediately. Strong color, green. Expensive for two action points, but with Bankai, it can really be really useful. Final card on this side. Our final booster pack. So I think uh, you just need like four boxes to six boxes to get all the SRs, but really just a, well, two boxes will give you all the commons you'll ever need from both from both colors, in my opinion. We started digging onto the other side, and there's our other alternate art, the Rengyuki. She's super hot, <laughs> really nice alternate art. Wow, she looks amazing. Wow, these cards are amazing. So now that we drew two alternate arts, we're probably not gonna be hitting anything crazy anymore. We'll see, but that's really it. Now we're just gonna hit maybe two more SRs, or three potentially. 
Nice, we need more Biakuyas, so, and we need more soy fawns, so nice. I am thinking about building a purple bleach deck, I don't know if that's just too basic. But that's what I'm thinking about, guys. Two rares. So, purple was really nice for me today. I was able to win the event without, uh, it was a rainbow event and I didn't have to rainbow at all. Okay, so this is the ass knot without the, full, the, the actual difference. So let's look at them side by side. As you can see, the alternate art looks much, much nicer much much nicer so that's really nice about this game really does put a lot of emphasis on the art because it's a collector's game it's really making the old art arts full full uh, arts and they look amazing they really do they're they're the same card but they do make a lot of difference on them There are some rares here that you're going to need forever. There's our other action point there. Nice action point. Has the whole team on here. Really cool. Action points are a cute little addition. I think we're done picking up everything. Maybe we have one more SR to find. So let's go through it real quickly. But yeah, like the Jail, for example, you're going to reuse that card forever. And there's our Toshiro. Toshiro is our last card. Really strong card. Really, really strong ability. Tough color to build. Oh, I see something in the end. Maybe it's just rares. Let's go through this real quick. Blood, Nell 2. Quinchies, BG9s. And just the side gene. Okay, so that's it for the box. Nothing special. We didn't really open any crazy stuff. Again, like I said, guys, I don't really <laughs> ever open up anything crazy. First of all, second of all, I don't really expect much. And also because so first because I don't expect much because I never really win anything. Second, because they already opened the action point and the alternate autograph card from that box. Still, we're still going to open this for fun. Okay, so here's the first box. We got a Uch Ichigo Kurosaki. Really nice. We need some of these. He's purple. Is he good? He's the place the top two cards of your deck into your asylum. Place a number of cards from your silent to your remove. If you do choose up to one character on your opponent, it loses 500 for each card placed. That's really, really strong. That's really good. So for... How much do you need for four? You need eight. But you could remove a four cost. So you could run one of him. But he's not an impactor, so maybe he's not that strong. It could be just situational. You wouldn't need more than one or two. Alright, nothing here. As you guys can see, you probably can get a full set with just like six boxes, four boxes, four to six boxes of rares, you'll get a full set. Nothing special still, really nice looking action point though guys. So this I think was the action point that the guy pulled from the case that was foiled. So basically you get one action point that's foiled and that was the, the action point in the whole case. So they are highly sought after. I'm not really pulling anything special. Some people pulled an extra action point. Okay, there we are. We got our Yowach. Yowch. For our SR. We really need to finish our Byakugan set. And then we need to do more. We need the Rukias. Two 
two rares. Kitsuga and Byakuya. Okay, so we don't need any more Byakuyas. We need to start pulling some other stuff now. So hopefully they won't give us any more Byakuya. We still haven't pulled any alternate arts from this box. So we we are due an SR. And there it is. That's the Bambietta. If your turn, if it's your turn, choose up to one resting character and sideline it. Oh, 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 oh. that's really nice. Fortunately, you got a raid into it, so you got to do this after. You can't do this during the attack phase; it has to be it before. So that means you have to sideline. You have to set it rested first, then you sideline it. But pretty interesting card. Another jail. I'm getting all the girls in these boxes. That's unfortunate, guys, because uh, the box uh, is looking like a dud, to be honest. Nothing special. Another soy phone. You know what's so funny in this release event? I guess some people had, were able to build decks earlier, so they had their own decks, and uh, it's a rainbow event too. So people were building all sorts of ways, and we were actually doing it the right way, and we were able to win the whole event. So there's the Yachiro. We got a big pile here, guys. This is such a strong card. I can't believe how strong this card is. This is the, one of the big cards that makes me want to play purple so hard. This this card is insane. Choose up to one of your cards on the field and give it a plus 1k. It just is so strong. Finally, we got a Rukia on the rares. We need more Rukias. I think we need one more. We're not really pulling anything guys, unfortunately, like I told you, it's a dud box, it's okay. Happens, there's a Renji. Pay 1 AP, gets 2 damage. Place 4 cards from your sideline to your removal, if you do, choose up to one of your characters, gets minus 3k. Not bad, really an interesting case. Could use it. You wouldn't need five, 4 of it, because it's not impact. But you could use it, and then maybe its second ability is optional. The nice thing is its first ability is not raid ability. That means you can use it all the time. Okay, we got our soy phone set. So I found it's really strong. Because what I can do is I can reduce the PP of one of his 4Ks and then kill it with Soyphone. There's the Toshiro. What he does is choose up to one of your characters on your opponent's front line, switch it to resting, will remain it set to resting until the end of the next attack phase. Six or more 13 guards, affinity cards are on your field. Choose up to one character on your opponent's front line. Switch it and all characters on your opponent's energy line to rest. It's an interesting effect. We're due one more action point. Hopefully we get one. Such a risk opening these boxes. Really, they're duds. I don't know. There's not much here.
there's our final card so that's crazy we only got one star here a really dead box wow completely dead box holy moly unfortunate but uh, yeah I really didn't expect to get that many cards anyways really really bad pulls guys unfortunately but that's what we get here enjoy hope you enjoyed that's two car uh, two full boxes I think we have enough trade to build a deck and yeah